So I'm going to be introducing the bot manager today. The program can look like this in the very beginning, completely blank. And you can add all these little tools to your dashboard here. The ones I use the most is the DCA bots and the deals. You can add it in here, grab it and put it wherever you want. And you could maybe place one here and the other one here or stretch them quite flexible so this is the uh, active deals section um, you can completely customize everything you want to see um, obviously the deal id is not very helpful uh, we could get rid of that one with a right click and then hide this column And this will clean up everything pretty nicely. So this is very useful when you have many accounts running at the same time and you want to get an overview of your active deals. Um, you can see how much of the total volume uh, that is allocated to the bot is used. And this is like a percentage bar. So this is already like two thirds in safety order use and the only one that has used all the safety orders already is this one the volume is full you can also compare it here seven of seven safety orders have been used you can sort it however you like and then also you can click this little filter button here i only want to see everything that goes down to ah, this way <laughs> it goes down to minus 12 dollars <laughs> Or I just want to, um, I just want to see the BTC pairs. So two filters are active now, one and two. So this is the deal page, and what's actually much more useful is the DCA bot page, because whenever you want to do a change on multiple bots, do the same change. Like I want to look at my base orders. Maybe the market is going a little bit downwards now and I want to change all the ones. I have a base order of 10 uh, to a base order of 5. Let's just do that now to so see how it works. Um, you just mark everything by holding the, the tab key. Go to edit and find the base order in here. Base order size currently at 10. This is uh, just the default value. It's not because these are on 10. You type in five, applying your settings. So instead of going into three commas and doing this for 57 bots, one after another, which take like takes like one hour, we just have one button to press. Yeah, that's it. And another feature that I use a lot when you want to name your bots, bots properly. Let's just do this for the example. Um, you can do this with placeholders. And the documentation is right here. <clears throat> so whenever, uh, okay. whenever a bot is long or short, you just have to uh, use these brackets to and type strategy and it will automatically assign it with long or short or so we could do something like account so it will put in the name of the sub account that you have assigned in three commas then it's going to say long with these bots they are all long and it's going to put in the pair um like in the style of how three commas is assigning it to the exchanges. And then you can also write free text and this will just appear on all the bots that you um, marked. So this would be our dear start condition, probably block algo. Um, yeah, apply. And they're all going to be renamed individually. Okay, 
and I'm gonna do a full tutorial on the add-ons uh, within the new uh, next few weeks. Uh, they are quite advanced. Um, let me maybe show you the documentation quickly. So you could do something like um, a set of rules that will go from to uh, top to bottom. This rule is going to be applied first and after that this one and so on. The rule says uh, when two safety orders have been completed, update the, uh, update the take profit to 2%. When three safety orders have been completed, update the take profit to 3%. Maybe it's not the best way to use this, but it's just an example. You can get, get really complex with these kinds of automation. You can basically automate anything that is in the edit section of your DCA bots. 